Hey guys, so today's video is super exciting. We are talking about things. Okay, sorry. So, today's video is about this right here. You guys are like, what the heck is that? Is this packaging not so cute? So, I was planning on filming my brush cleaning video today, which I'm still gonna film. I'm just putting it off for a day or two. I got this in the mail today, and when I saw ColourPop on the label, I was like, what the heck is ColourPop coming out with? And then I saw this, and I still had no idea. But when I opened it up, you guys, I had no idea this was happening. Look at this. The Ultra Satin Lippies with matching lip liners and seven new lip liners. This, this is exciting. I have one on right now. I have one Dopey. And these are not what I was expecting in a good way. I mean, that's not a bad thing. So let me just read you this paper that ColourPop sent with the package. I wanted to introduce myself. I'm ColourPop's new Ultra Satin Lip, not to be confused with my older sister Ultra Matte Lip. I am not a lip gloss. I'm bold, lightweight, and super comfortable without that dry matte finish. Where my sister is totally kiss proof, I will definitely kiss and tell. But don't worry. I still have the long wear you all know and love. I'm available in 16 all new shades. P.S. also included our seven brand new lippy pencils. So these guys launch on February 28th. I'm pretty sure it was the 28th. I don't know the retail price. I tried to find out but there's not really any information anywhere about how much they're gonna be but it's ColourPop so they're not gonna be that much. Um, after putting the one on, like I was expecting it to kind of have a similar feel to the Revlon Ultra HD, which I did not care for them. They were very like moussey and they kind of, I don't know, they just felt like they were going to get everywhere. These apply the same way as a liquid lipstick. They feel the same going on. They're very pigmented. It was like one swipe and I had full color. Um, but they don't dry down. They're not transfer proof, but it still doesn't feel like it's going to go everywhere. It almost feels like a demi matte, but it's not drying at all. But if I go like this, it's going to get on the back of my hand. When I rub my lips together, it does still kind of have that matte feel to it, but I think this is like the best alternative to liquid lips because for me, I'm very picky with them. I've told you guys a million times that liquid lipsticks just... They're so drying on me. I know a lot of people can deal with it and wear them for like 20 hours. I can't. So I feel that these are going to be like the next best thing. It's just like a little bit of a step down from a full-on matte liquid lip. So I'm very excited. So I'm going to go through the shades as I always do. I'm going to swatch them on my arm and then cry about how I want to have that tattooed on my arm as I usually do. Let me take off my watch. So I'm gonna swatch them the way that they have them in here just to kind of make it easier on myself. Um, the one that I'm wearing is called Dopey. Did I tell you guys that? I think that I did, but I'm not sure. So, okay, I'm gonna start with this little guy, the Nude. So it looks like there are two nude shades and then there's one like mauve Nude. So this first one is Magic Wand, and it's a really nice, just like traditional nude. It's not pink, it's not peach, it's just nude. I'm gonna do one swipe across. So you can see how pigmented that is. I mean, it's full on color, and they don't have a smell, which I appreciate. I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger so that you guys can really see it. Oh, that's really pretty. Somebody scratching on my door? I'm gonna kick Banjo's ass. So Magic Wand is the first one. I think this is gonna be like one of their best sellers because it's just like a traditional nude shade. And then the next one is Echo Park. I like that name. This one is a little bit, here, let me compare them for you guys before I get that shit everywhere. Okay, so this one is Magic Wand and then Echo Park. So Echo Park has a little bit more pink to it. Same amount of pigmentation. So there they are. Yeah, this one's just a little bit darker and a little bit more. Actually, once I swatch it, it kind of looks like it has peach to it. But you can see the difference in those two. 
And then the next one is the one that I'm wearing. This is Dopey. I was drawn to this immediately. It's so pretty. See how bad I can make these swatches. Look at that color. It's just so gorgeous. I just love this color. I think this is going to be another one that people just go crazy for. I'm going to try to keep these swatches as uniform as pop. <laughs> Okay, well, I just effed that up, but yeah, that is dopey, gorgeous, I love this shade so much. The next one is Lion King, Lion, like L-Y-I-N, that's so cute. This is really pretty, and I feel like this is a unique shade. It's like a pink berry shade, but it looks like it's going to be soft and not super like bright and in your face. Oh. Do you see that pigmentation? So pigmented. Really pretty. That is a gorgeous color. I really like that one. And then next up we have London Fog. This one is just like a kind of a traditional red. It doesn't look super, super intense. Let's see the color. Oh, that's really pretty. I mean, you can see by my swatches how pigmented they are. That was a terrible swatch. I'm trying to keep my hand up for you guys so you can like keep looking at them as I'm getting the next shade. The next one is The Rabbit. The Rabbit. That's, that's a weird name. I love this color. It's a bright like magenta pink. Always. Oh god, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. Look how big my swatches are. I'm never going to make the whole way down my dang arm, but that's really pretty. And then next up, oh my god, this next color. You guys, this next color. What is this? Panda. Look at this shade. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. It kind of looks like plastics, which is one of their lippy sticks. Oh, I'm so about this life. Bang. These are so comfortable on the lips. I've had Dopey on now for, I would say like two hours, and I have not had to touch up, and it, it's not wearing away in the center of my lips. It just, it just looks good. So, I think these are going to be really good. As of right now, I would recommend them a thousand percent. And then the next one is Marshmallow. I feel like this is another one that people are going to really like. It's like a gray color, but it has a hint of purple to it. So it's like a, a purpley grayish. It's a really cool color. I swatched this one on Snapchat. Look at that color. Is that not so cool? I love this shade. I don't know if I would be able to pull it off, but it's really pretty. <sighs> and don't anybody look at my nails because they are terrible. I painted them. I used Essie's Cute as a Button. And for some reason I had to do like four coats and then I went to bed and I woke up with like bed marks which never happens because I use HK Girl. But because I had to do so many coats they are destroyed. I can't wait to paint them tonight. They're so bad. Okay and then the next one is Mess Around. I love this color. This color is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I haven't even swatched it. Oh my god you guys look at that. It kind of reminds me of... Is it Mars from Colored Rain? Yeah, there are other brands that do this color. Oh my god, that's so pretty. That's one of my favorites so far. I think these are going to be really good, you guys. I think these are going to be for the people that, like me, can't wear all brands of liquid lipsticks because it's just too dry. I think these are going to be an awesome alternative because they're not glossy. It still feels like you're wearing a liquid lipstick but it just, it transfers, so you have to be careful with that, but it's so comfortable, so. Ooh, this color is really pretty. This is Petite Four. Is that how you say it? Petite Four? I think so. This is like a, a grayish green. It's really neat. Ooh, I'm excited to swatch this one. I would wear that. I'm telling you right now, I would rock that shit. That is so neat. You know who I can picture wearing this? She always pops into my head when I see like different colors. That girl Shay, I love her channel so much. And she can pull off these really odd lipstick colors. She's just so stunning. But I really, really like that one. 
And then next up is Tulips, but it's Tulips. T-O-O-L-I-P-S, but Tulips, okay. Um, this one is another really, really pretty shade. It's like a, a mauve brown. It's a deep, really deep mauve. It's good, I strapped my panties on extra tight because god damn, this color is gorgeous. Oh my god, I love that color so much! This is so pretty! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm starting to get really excited. Okay, this next one is Frickin' Frack. I love that name. Best lipstick name ever. This color is so pretty. I'm running out of room, you guys. Okay. Like, look at the pigmentation. The, it's so pigmented. Oh my goodness, this is gorgina. I love that color. Every single one. There has not been one that I've swatched that isn't stunning. Okay, next one is Tansy. And this is a weird brown. It's almost like a the color of poop. I'm just going to put it out there. But I like it. I really, really, really like it. It kind of reminds me of Cork from Dose, which I don't have, but I've seen pictures of it. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. That's the worst swatch ever, I'm so sorry. The whole poop thing threw me off, but look how gorgeous that color is. I love that color. There's something for everyone, obviously, if you can get past my terrible swatches. Hey, you guys should be used to it by now. Okay, the next one is Cozy, and this one is like a coral shade. It's really pretty, it actually matches my nails really well. My janky ratchet nails. I mean, they are hella pigmented. When I heard that they were going to be, like, after I read that paper, and I kind of was thinking about how they were going to be, I was picturing them not being this pigmented, and I didn't think they were going to have the matte feeling to them, which I appreciate. I'm so glad that they do, because it just feels like a really comfortable, easy liquid lip, pretty much. The next one is Lost, and this, again, is a really neat shade. It's like a brick red. Okay, maybe I can fit them all. That pigmentation, that's, that's impressive. I'm just trying to make it big enough so you guys can see it. Okay, and, oh, sorry, I was, like, off the screen. The last one is Prim. This is really pretty. Why am I, why is it on my face? I have no idea. Okay, swatchy swatch. Ooh, I love this color. So basically every single shade is gorgeous. I mean, look at that. How can you not find something? And guys, this video is not sponsored. ColourPop does not pay me to film these videos. They just send me products because I'm on their PR list. I do not have to film on these products. I don't have to talk about them. I do this because I love ColourPop and I know you guys do too. So that is all 16 shades. Every single one, freaking gorgeous. Which one was this? I'm loving that shade. The one right before this one. What is it called? Mess Around? I love this one. And I really, really love this like teal green, like dirty grayish green. I really like that one. So as far as the lip liners go, there are not new lip liners to match every single shade, but there are some. I think the seven new pencils that they're talking about are the seven coordinating pencils with the new lippies, if that makes sense. They did send this book and it has all of the lippies in here, the new ones that we just talked about. And then down at the bottom, it has lip liners that would match them. So Echo Park doesn't have a matching lippy pencil, but it says Brink or BFF3, depending on your skin tone, would go with it. I think that's pretty cool how they did this. Like Tansy does not have a matching pencil, but it says BFF3 would work. So yeah, I'm not sure why they didn't do coordinating ones with every one, but they did some. Like Petite 4 has one. Frickin' Frack has one, Tulips, Tulips has one. So some of them do, but some of them don't. Sorry, my camera just shut off. So I'm gonna go through the shades super quick with you. I'm not gonna swatch them, I'm just gonna hold them up. 
just so you guys know which ones have matching ones. So we have BFF2. These are nice, the BFFs. There's BFF, BFF1, 2, and 3, I'm pretty sure. I know there's 2 and 3 and BFF. I don't know if there's a 1. Anyway, BFF2. What did BFF2? Oh, Jesus. Petite 4, so that one does have a matcher. Ah! Okay, Petite 4. So Petite 4, I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, it does have a matching lip pencil. I freaking love this shade. It's one of my favorite ones. And then we have Dopey. So Dopey also has a matching one, which is, I have both of them. And then this one is Wet, which I already own. This is like a greenish gray. It's kind of an odd shade, but it's really pretty. I don't know what they're coordinating this one with, but there you go. <laughs> I just didn't know what to say. Okay, um, Pitch is the next one. Pitch is like a dark brown shade. I think I already have all of these except for the new shades. This one is Creature. This is a really nice, really dark shade. They're probably putting Creature with, what is this? Prim, I would think. And then Marshmallow. So Marshmallow does have a matching pencil. And... Flawless. Flawless they're probably putting with Panda because I, I think they're pretty similar. So Panda doesn't have a matching pencil. And then Leather is another dark purple shade that could also go with Panda depending on your skin tone. And that's why I like this book because it gives you different options. I don't know if they're sending this out like if you order product or what the deal is, but this is a really convenient little book to have. And then BFF3, which is just like a darker nude shade. And then Click is the next one, which is a really nice like orangey red shade. And I Heart This, which I already have. I love I Heart This. It's a really pretty, I have to swatch it. It's like a pinkish red. So good. What's next? BFF. BFF's really pretty. I actually think I wore this in my waterline once. Don't do that because you probably shouldn't, but that shit worked. And then the next one is Ellery, which is another one that I have. This is a really nice dark, like berry brownish. It kind of goes with any dark lip. And London Fog. So London Fog does have a matching pencil. And then... Frickin' Frack. Frickin' Frack does have a matching pencil. I love Frickin' Frack. I love that name. Tulips. Tulips also has a matching one. Lion King also has a matching pencil. And then Dahlia. 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 There's no H, so it's throwing me off. And then Brink is the last one. And this, if you're into nude lips or like nude pinks, this is such a good lip liner. I love this one and I love Bound. Those are two of my favorites. So there you go guys. These are the new Ultra Satin. Is that what they're called? Yes. Ultra Satin Lips from ColourPop. In my opinion, now you guys know I wasn't the hugest fan of their Ultra Mattes. I think the newer shades are better comfort wise than the original ones that they came out with. I have a feeling that these are just gonna do it for me because I've had this one for hours. They're definitely long wearing. I mean, I've been talking now for an hour and it's holding up really well. It's not getting on my teeth. It's comfortable. It looks good. It hasn't bled. Like I'm just, I'm 100% in. These shades are so pretty. Like, oh my God, I'm so excited for these. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. And I think that's it. I love you guys. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my God, that color is so...
ColourPop really listen to us because a lot of people are saying the ultra mattes are just too dry. So what did ColourPop do? Oh, oh my god, settle down! Why does your head look like a big condom? These are so... I don't want to say they're so good again, but goddamn Panda. Petite Four, I really hope I'm saying that name right. Freaking Marshmallow. Like, don't even talk back to me, mess around, because I will jack you up. Look how pretty these are. Oh my god, I want... I want to design a room around these colors. Like, that shit is banging. Don't tell me it's not. Nobody's telling you it's not. What is wrong with you? I'm excited. My life is so unexciting that new products like this got me really excited, and then I want to pinch somebody's boobs like this. <laughs> Baby stomach. Ooh, oh, wait, so maybe that's a new shade? Wait. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. So... I'm so excited. Oh, my God, in this book, it says that the rabbit is a bright fuchsia with a subtle blue sheen. Shut up. Excuse me. I'm not seeing a blue sheen, but if it does, somebody's gonna die. Slow, painful death because it's gonna be so good that I'm just gonna have to kill someone. Look at that! Like, how can you not? Don't. Wait, what just happened? This color is so cool. Where's Betsy? I'm about to jack that bitch up. Finally, so <laughs> finally, finally somebody answered my prayers, and their name is Color Pop. So thank you, Color Pop. I got you back. Always and forever. Always and forever.